focusing on you. Innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. With South Florida students back in the classroom and concerns about the rise in COVID-19 cases, UHealth pediatrician Dr. Lisa Gwynn says following safety protocols is key to keeping kids healthy. Let's all wear masks when we go into this, especially because community infection rates are rising and there's not a lot of things that protect us except for masks and vaccinations. Dr. Gwynn is also the president of the Florida chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics, who recently put out a statement encouraging the use of masks for children while they're at school. Hand washing, social distancing, those types of things, we want to just consistently bring home that same message. The University of Miami Miller School of Medicine has received a $3 million grant from the National Institutes of Health to research testing protocols in schools. Our hope is, is that we can create these protocols that will shorten the amount of time that children that get exposed to the virus, they can go back into the classroom quicker. And that's really our goal. The second aim of that project is to try to understand the fears regarding vaccines and vaccine hesitancy and to take that information and try to create education strategies to encourage kids and adults to get their COVID vaccine. Doctor, talk to us about what the concerns might be for a child's mental health now that they're back in school. I think that's probably one of the most important questions we can answer. Not all kids are able to verbalize, hey mom, I'm depressed. Having those open lines of communication, asking your child when they come home from school, hey, how was your day today? You know, and listening, really listening. She says it's about empowering kids and our community, which is why U Health Pediatrics rolled out its new Shots to Go mobile unit. Our goal is to bring up immunization rates, not just for COVID vaccine, but for all childhood vaccines throughout the district. Dr. Gwynn says we can overcome these challenging times. We've got to work together to get through this and we have to do it for our children.